Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to have a closer look on setting up your theme. We're going to add a load logo, change some colors and fonts. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to head down to the theme node. Here we have some different sections. Uh, we can upload our logos, change fonts, colors, some settings for the header and footer, and finally some grid settings. So let's start by adding a logo. There's actually two media triggers for the logo. Uh, one is when it's presented on a dark background, and one is uh, when it's presented on a light background. Uh, so for the dark one, we're going to pick our light logo and the dark one here. Then I'm also going to add a favicon. Uh, the biggest this is going to be shown is 192 pixels. You want to make sure to have a transparent PNG and you want to fill out the symbol to one of the edges. The app icon is going to be 180 pixels big. Uh, here you want to have a background color as well and you want to also have some space around the logo. Let's sit and publish this. If I go into our homepage now uh, and reload, I can see that the logo has been added. Uh, there's not a lot of content here from start. That's because eGlo is built up using the widgets. So what we see here is the header with the navigation and then followed by the footer. So let's go ahead and change the colors. So under the theme node here, and I go down to I go down to colors. I'm going to change the theme color, the theme contrast color is text put over the theme color. Uh, so we're going to leave that to white for the theme out color, and this yellow. Let's see heading. have the dark color also for text the light background let's see Oop. there we go for the dark background I'm also gonna add the same color here selected navigation let's go with this Okay, so you can publish. Now, if I reload this page, you're going to see that the color pickers in the back office has also changed to represent the colors added here in the theme. And the color pickers are available in all the widgets. Okay, let's go back to the home page and reload. So you can see that the dark backgrounds change the background of our header and our footer. So another way of changing the theme settings is by using the theme explorer. So I uh, added a page here with some widgets so we can see the effects. And then I'm going to enter the preview mode. And when the preview mode is active, little icon up here becomes available and this is the theme explorer so if i open this i can from these color pickers go ahead and change the colors see here that the color is changing here and if i were to change the dark background looks like that I can also change the fonts here. You can change some settings for the header. So let's have a look at the header first. It's going to reload here. So, so the header. We're going to have this in the light theme as well. And you can see it's also selecting the, 
the other logo that we added before. I can change the navigation position to be to the left, centered, to the right, and finally having the logo centered and navigation to the left. I can also select how big the container should be for the header. The big, the full width. Uh, and this container sizes, uh, sizes are the ones that are set here under the theme node as well. Under container, under grid. I can uh, change the height of our header, the height of the mobile version of our header, the padding of the logo. So this will make the logo bigger or smaller. And then we have the navigation padding, which is the spacing between navigation items you can see over here. And then it's also one for smaller screens. But for now, let's uh, set our theme to lights. Let's have a centered navigation for width. Lower the height a little bit. And the logo padding. And then I can go ahead and I can just save from here. You can also change the fonts by going into the text tab. Uh, here I have a list of uh, Google fonts. So one is for the heading, one is for the body. Let's set the heading one to something Meriwether. And let's use Open Sans for a body font. And I can just go ahead and save that as well. And when I reload, you can see that the settings are still here. Another way of adding fonts, uh, which might give you a little bit more control in terms of what weights uh, you want to use, uh, is to go to Google Fonts. Uh, let's see, we're going to search for a font here. We're going to use this one for our heading. So here I'm just going to add the, the bold one. And for our body font, we're going to use Open Sans. I'm going to select light one, regular, and italic for that one, and also one bold. So here you can see we get a link tag here. So we're going to copy that and head over to the theme node in Umbraco and just replace this where it says embed font. And just sort of paste this in. Okay. And then for our body font, we want to open sound. So if I go back here, we want this font stack here. And this one for the heading font. So let's save and publish. Now the way that this works is um, if I go into style sheets here and IG theme CSS. This is used as a template whenever I save the theme node and we create a CSS file on the generated themes. This. this also allows us to have multiple CSS files or themes if you want to set up uh, more than one site with a different theme. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching.